So this question looks like it is a translate word problem question, and that's just because it's greater than four lines long, right? The question is a little longer than the typical SAT math question. So with that, my strategy is to not read all the way through, but instead to make sure I understand as I read. So I like to take a break in between sentences to make sure I understood what I read prior, and also to write down any quantitative information that I'm seeing. So the, the first sentence here says, on April 18th, 1775, Paul Revere set off on his midnight ride from Charleston to Lexington. Okay, makes complete sense. If he had ridden straight to Lexington without stopping, he would have traveled 11 miles in 26 minutes. So I'm going to just make a little chart here and say C to L, right, for Charleston to Lexington. We're told, if you just go straight there, that this is 11 miles mile, so that's the distance, and that it took him 26, it would have taken him taken him 26 minutes, right? So with that information, we could definitely find the actual speed. In such a ride, the next sentence, what would the average speed of his horse have been to the nearest tenth of a mile per hour? Okay, so then if I'm looking at speed, and um, the unit that I want for speed is miles per hour, then what I have been given is miles per minute. So I know that I have 11 miles in 26 minutes. So I'm almost to the units that I want, but I wanna get rid of this unit minutes. So I'm gonna use unit conversion analysis here, which allows me to multiply by the relationship between minutes and hours. What is that relationship? Well, I know that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And I arrange it that way instead of having one hour on top and 60 minutes on bottom, I put 60 minutes on top and one hour on bottom so that I can cross cancel the units. So now what I'm left with is just the units that I want, right? I have miles up top, which is exactly what I want. And I have hours on bottom, which is exactly what I want. So let's do the math now. So 11 times 60, I just go to my calculator and type that in. This is, is the calculator section. So 11 times 60 is 660. So I have six, I have 660 miles in 26, right? This 26 is still here, 26 hours. So now my units are perfect. I have miles per hour, but I can reduce this. So what is 660 divided by 26? And again, they want me to round this to the nearest tenth of a mile. So this is going to be 25 I get 0.38 in my calculator, which means it'd be 